The Smart Board Revolution Google Plus Community presents a Smart Survival Guide. I'm your host, Matt Granger. This episode is part of the Adding Interactivity to Lessons and or Simplifying Lesson Creation with Widgets series. And this episode specifically is about the timer widgets. Yes, there are the other timers. Those are flash-based widgets. And I haven't mentioned this in any other videos. The widgets are all HTML5 based, so they're not going to be affected by flash updates, etc. In theory, they should work better. In practice, not all the time. Once you've installed your widgets, and there's a video for that if you need to learn how to find and install the widgets, you come to the Gallery tab, your My Content folder, and wherever you have the widgets installed and then down here we have the timer classic it can be a stopwatch counting up it can count down you set it your gear is to edit or your settings so when the timer finishes it can go to the next page it can go to the previous page it can delete the timer the watch it can insert text onto the page it could play a sound. Select a sound from the list of sounds on this page. See, this is where it doesn't seem to be working properly. So we'll leave whatever the default sound is. Start on loading the page. You can also set it ahead of time and then start automatically as soon as the page loads. As soon as you go to that page. You may be using it timing students doing a specific task or math problem and when the time is up it goes to the next page and then if you had another one that started as soon as it comes to that page then they would have so much time to do the next problem kind of a game that you could use it for like that so that's the classic timer click start and because I couldn't select I got no sound so I guess you'll just have to check that one out to see if it works. You can also do the modern timer. It's very similar. Stopwatch or countdown. Here is your gear for your options. Same options. Still not getting sound. Not sure why. So I guess you'll uh, have to try that out for yourself. But those are the timers. Giving you some other options. Like the next page, previous page. Try them out, see if you can get the sound to work.